it will have to be a big win. And yeah. and uh, so really, it's just a really a matter of which side can get the breaks in the third quarter. We see there Shane Hellas, he's going to be dangerous, although Young Breeze did a pretty good job on him in towards the latter part of that second quarter. And there's yeah. Shaw, of course, which we describe as a an ordinary bit of play. Defense, yes. by the, and Shaw, he is going to be very dangerous in the second part of the game. Yeah. I thought they might fall into the trap of thinking that Shaw and Hellas might do it all for them and just bang it down there, but they, uh, in fact, really didn't do that. No, that's a pertinent comment, uh, Peter. It's exactly the way I felt. You know, just looking at their players, they're more reliant on the individual uh, uh, big grab or the individual flashes of uh, good play from their more noted players. And what they've... What they lost sight of the fact was that they've all got to work and uh, create the opportunities, and that's what never happened. But as Phil said, when you look at the contest in uh, statistically, the ruck deals have virtually had no significance. Uh, the back lines, both half back lines, I felt have been on top. In particular, uh there's some highlights here in the carcass. There, this was an early goal to cross. Fine bit of play there. One of the few good shots at goal that we saw during the quarter and Preston running through the middle here through Salvador I think this might end up with Jamie Shaw actually yeah one of the few good passages of play yeah done by over the top I think at that time Bartol had been up the ground chasing kicks you could say I mean now uh, Saru's tried to move his players around which is good he's moved Bardol up to the forward line Brown back to the back line the cargs to the back line I think obviously aware that he needs a bit of oomph on that forward line I think in this last quarter